This is Dangerous Dame Designs. I'm the dame in question. Uh, I'll be going through this tutorial and before I start, always wear a mask and gloves when you do aerosols and that a dust mask is not for aerosol paints. And today's project is this. So what I'm here doing today is the Chibiusa Supers version where she has the gradient skirt where it fades from a dark red to a bright hot pink to a sort of yellow color. Uh, so I'm starting with the pink because that's if I don't start with the pink then it ends up the other colors end up overtaking it. So I'm starting with the pink and I'm using one of the fabric uh, pre-made ones because I have like two cans of it and I want to get rid of it and that stuff never lasts. So if you're going to use it get it. It doesn't last for a lot on a big project, but it's good enough to just get a quick gradient on a, the hem of a skirt, and that's a much, as much of it covers. A lot of people end up using like eight cans when they start covering real things, but for just one thin line around four yards of material, it's not that bad. After I do those layers a couple times to make sure it's really nice and saturated, uh, I then go on and I mix my own yellow because I didn't bother to buy a yellow textile thing. So I have a textile medium additive that you can buy in Hobby Lobby or Michaels or whatever. And you can just add it to acrylic paints and then you water it down enough that it still works, but that it still adheres so it ends up basically dyeing the fabric for you. But then I used my house painting gun in order to get a nice soft gradient with the yellow because I didn't want it to show up too super bright but now it's got a nice a nice tone to it and then I'm going to go around and then just gently do it and then I can aim it a little better so it doesn't leak into the pink too much and then cause that weird orange and it'll end up if you make it too watery I aim for a larger area gradient because I wanted to go up higher because I'm going to put more gemstones but if you want it tighter make sure it's thicker so it doesn't drain and start uh, dying upwards past it. So you always have to watch out that you don't add too much water. Just enough that it'll go through the gun nice and smooth. And you can use different guns. This is just the one I had out because I was uh, painting a large piece earlier and that was what I was using. And then eventually I went back through and I made a mixed red fabric medium uh, to go and do the last edge. 